Hello, fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. On the last episode, we continued questioning uh, April May, finding out that the wiretap that she used was to listen to our conversation. The unfortunate thing was we couldn't really link this wiretapping to the murder, but we questioned the bell the 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 bellboy, and he gave us some information about a second guest in that room. So. Using that, we managed to buy ourselves an extra day to work on, and so, right after we save the game here, which I hope it does, we will be moving on to the second part of investigation. Well, hello. <laughs> I still love the places. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. Dank memes. Woo, 420. It's really quite moving. Not, you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. <laughs> I mean, we could laugh at her. There's nothing she could really do about it. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Oh, good burn. Bet she's been working on that ever since she got arrested. Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. Really? Why should the security guard be getting scared? He has a gun. Does he? No, that'd be a, that'd be a terrible thing. So, what is it you wish to ask of me then, hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? So yeah, now we're now we're gonna get this stuff again. We can move if we want to. We can go like we can go back to Faye and Company, go to Gatewater, go back to Grossburg. Those are I think the only couple areas that we can currently go to at the moment. We can't present evidence. Let's look at the thing that we got from her. May testimony. The victim dodged an attack and ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. That's the only thing that we had from her testimony that she gave us that was not a lie. Although technically we don't know if it's the truth or not, but we'll just take this as fact at the moment. I think that's about it. Yeah, that's all the items we have. Oh, and the floor plans. So yeah, there's the couch. There's the right, uh, right in the middle is the table where the phone was. That that backward, that J thing is her desk, and then we can see the plant that's lying on the floor, a chair, and that broken light that she had, and the <laughs> the weird shape clear D up in the top right corner is the door so I don't think she's gonna tell us anything she's she's not going to help us I mean if we can tell we can talk with her if we wish uh, that man we can talk to her about that the wiretap or your attitude which which is a great thing to ask so about the man who stayed with you in your hotel room can you tell me about him where is he come on no way Jose I don't have the little tilde over the E thing. Hmm, maybe if I had something to get her to talk. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to get her to talk at all. I mean, we can try them all. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Uh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, huh? Creep. This woman is impossible to talk to. That's also, you know, kind of a known thing that wiretapping is illegal. So yeah, she's not telling us anything. Let's just ask her about her attitude since it's the only thing left. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Ooh, that does it. Bottom feeding, scum sucking lawyer. The bottom? I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Yeah, <laughs> we're not getting anything from her. We need some proof or at least something to kind of to kind of make her go the, with us a little bit. Kind of help us out. So let's go to the Grossberg Law Offices. Huh, looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. So, yeah, he's not here, but we might notice a couple things already. One, that giant picture that he was exorbitantly ecstatic about is now completely missing. I mean, we can examine the wall if we so wish. 
Like we will. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah. Yeah, it was the painting of... And it was a painting of a fisherman, not not Grossberg and not sunflowers. It was a fisherman, wasn't it? Wasn't a very memorable. Pa it wasn't a very, very memorable painting, anyhow. So yeah, painting's missing. There's also this on the desk. So let's examine this. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written on pencil on the backs. DL6 incident exhibit A. DL6 incident exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. So, let's take a look at A, and then we'll take a look at B. So, here's A. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. So we'll get this added to the court record, or as it says, quietly added to the court record. But we don't know who that is. So let's see who B is. A photo lies in the desk. And look at that picture! That guy looks very familiar! In fact, that looks like the guy that killed Mia. Maybe I should switch with the one I took. Yes, please! I think I'll swap them. And so this will be added to our court record, which is going to be absolutely beneficial to us, because now that we actually have uh, the clues that are starting to lead to the guy that we saw in the opening, in the opening cutscene, that'll start to help us. So we'll get that added. And we'll just we'll just take that for now. What the crap is that in the background by the green globe? I'll find out what it is next time we come to the well, offices. I, I I assume we're going to be coming back here eventually. But let's go to the Gatewater Hotel. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. I don't know what voice I'm doing for the bellboy. <laughs> I, I really don't know. This universe that I have of voices is very creepy and very odd. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. If you haven't noticed, Gatewater is... You just switch water and gate, you get water gate. <laughs> Nixon. <laughs> huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used the wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa, Miss May has been charged with murder. And I don't really think, you know, renting at a room of a murderer is the best business practice. But then again, I'm not into business. I, too, will become famous. Oh, okay, there, there's where we go. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do we feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I could bring you. Ooh, thank you. What kind of food is on your table? Your... <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, we're going to ask him some questions. So, let's ask him a couple questions. We have Miss May, the man with Miss May, and the hotel. So, let's talk with Miss May. About Miss May. Oh, huh? Sir, not the bows, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. Yeah, do what? What are you thinking? All right, that didn't help us at all. Let's go to the man with May. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. <laughs> there we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bill Boy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Well, a photo. Hmm. I just so happen to have that photo, but let's talk about the hotel very quickly. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. <laughs> Whatever floats your tea set. Yeah, Murder Manor. That's a great nickname for a, a place that people want to stay at. Mm-hmm. Nothing wrong with that, but we do have a picture of a man. 
that just happened to be in here. Let's take this picture and show it to him. Oh, hold on. I need to go to present because that's what I need to do in order to show him the photo. Is this the guy? Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no, I don't. <laughs> Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. Of course I'll have him write it. He, I mean, an affidavit is basically proof that, you know, he's telling the truth there. Although, so far, every single uh, witness that we've talked to on the stand, other than Gumshoe, has completely lied out of their pants. So, you know, that's perjury. <laughs> but who cares about perjury? That's just a minor crime. Murder is the real crime here. And wiretapping, I guess. So let's have him write this down. Well, sure, why not? Yes. I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. And Billboy's affidavit is added to the court records. Now at least we have proof. And something on our court record. Not even Miss Make it play dumb to this. Which is good. Because we're going to he be heading right back there and go talking with her. Now that we know who the person is that she was with. This, prob this probably will get her to yap a little bit. I mean, this no. Oh. You again? Oh, you again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Why? Because she said it? Oh, whatever. Let's present some evidence so that she can shut up. Like, let's show her the picture. Have a look at this. Look, I said several times, I'm not telling you. Where did you... Aha! A reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No. No, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Do you have proof that was him? Hmm? Yeah! Proof! Show me proof! I'm so close. Oh, we have the affidavit from the bellboy. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. He told us everything he saw. He told us about the man he checked in with. He told us who he was. Now I'm getting somewhere. Ease her fears or push her hard. We're gonna push her hard because, well, we don't really care about her anymore. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb. If, indeed, that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this photo to the press. What? Even though he should be a witness to murder, this man is in hiding. I'm sure the press would have a field day with, this, with his reputation. Ooh. Fine. I'll talk. You... You win, lawyer. Yes! Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? <laughs> now, t uh, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the inform information gathering conglomerate Blue Corp. Red White? Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call them a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder. I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red White, at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. If Ilmay couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Just 
discarded the Pillboy's affidavit because we don't need it anymore. We now know who he is. Photograph of... Yeah, the affidavit was basically just to get her to talk. We don't need it for... Because, I mean, if we look at our profiles... Oh, he is not in our profiles yet. Oh, well, whatever. So, I don't think we could talk with her. We've already talked with her. The wiretap and your attitude. And she's going to say the same thing we said before. So, we now have a lead. And we now have, you know, the person that we know d actually did it from the opening cutscene. Nope, 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 yep. That guy. Red White. <laughs> Owner of Blue Corp. You know, red, white, and blue. Weird pun name, but yeah, we'll have to deal with that for the rest of the series. So, that about does it for this episode. On the next episode, we'll be getting, we're, we're going to be heading off to Blue Corp and going to talk with Red White himself just to see what he can tell us. And uh, hopefully find out a little bit more about him and exactly what, exactly why he killed Maya. Or Maya. Mia. Ma Maya's in jail. <laughs> she, she's not dead. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy. Those Triforce charts decipher because they're very old. Oh, balls! I did not mean to do this. <laughs> well, goodbye, goodbye. This is a big one. This is a, these, these guys are not actually called Octorox. Well, they technically are, but the real name is actually Big Octo. This guy has a lot of eyes. Well, while I'm doing this, let's continue. Let's, let's do part two of the computer escapade.